The center is a facility that uh, promotes environmental education, uh, research, and also supports the management of this area that we are uh, here, Akrodiri Peninsula. So we basically offer educational programs for school children, but we are also open for visitors to come and learn about the importance of Akrodiri Peninsula. We started here in 2004. Gradually, we started cooperating with the Ministry of Education of the Republic of Cyprus. This facility actually it is built by the British bases in Cyprus. But uh, at some point, the Ministry of Education of the Republic of Cyprus um, realized how important is this area and that it can be used for environmental education for children all over Cyprus. So we started cooperating with them. And uh, gradually, uh, they started sending us teachers. We started with one teacher, a second teacher, and now we have four teachers teaching environmental education programs. In general, learning about the natural environment helps a lot uh, because if people understand the importance and the value of something, they protect it better. Uh, for example, here at Agrodiri, we use, uh, we utilize environmental education as, as a management tool. We know that if people, local people, visitors, and anybody finds out how important is this area, it will be much easier then to work with them for the protection of this area. This combination of environmental education and, and information to visitors, when is going together with research and management efforts, it's much more productive. Here, when we do a research project, the results of the, of the research are directly feeding the educational programs. So there is always new information for our programs and for our visitors to learn about new findings of, from scientific projects or any other project. What makes this place special is this combination of education, research and management efforts from a common uh, facility. We are very much uh, keen and would like to invite people to come and visit us. They will um, find ways to better enjoy the wider area. We encourage them to come first at the center and then to go outside because they will realize that there, are, there is much more potential when they first have an introduction, let's say, here at the center. We had flamingos all year around, which is not usual, because usually the sweet is dry in the summer. Now we have about 100 or so now, but in the winter, the numbers increase. 8 to 20,000 flamingos uh, wintering here. Protect environment through education.